Hi YouTube, Tim Eckert here. In this video, we're going to set up a nice looking terminal on your Chromebook. The first thing we need to do is install the Linux development environment. And to do that, I'm going to navigate over here on the lower left to my launcher and click on that. And I'm going to search for settings. I'll bring up my settings. And then once settings comes up, I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom on the left here and click about Chrome OS. Once I click on that, I'll have this developers option show up if your Chromebook is Linux enabled. So if we get that, you should be good to go. So you're going to click Setup here, and we're going to have this wizard pop up where you set up the Linux development environment. I'll click Next, and it's going to give you a username, which I believe is based off your email. I would change that now if you want to change it now, and a recommended disk size. You can change the disk size now or later. I'm going to leave both of the defaults and click Install. And I'll let that run through and I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once the Linux development environment is installed, a terminal will pop up. You can close out your settings at this point. I like to pin the terminal to the taskbar, even though we're not going to be using this particular terminal, but we do have to use it to do a few more things. So I'm going to open this up and I'll increase the font size here. And we want to make sure everything's up to date first. So we're going to type sudo apt update, and then two ampersands, and then sudo apt upgrade and hit enter we're going to be asked to take a little additional storage based on the updates and we'll click yes okay once everything is updated we can clear this out and we want to install the terminal that we're going to use which is terminator so we're going to type sudo apt install terminator hit enter say yes to the additional space Okay, once that's run through, we can close out this terminal, and now we'll open up our launcher again. If we scroll on down in the Linux apps, we should have Terminator. I'm going to right click and pin that to the shelf, because that's one we'll be using a lot. I'll click on that one, and when it opens up, it doesn't look like much. It opens up like this, but what I'm going to do is now right click and go down to preferences here. And I'd like the window state to be maximized when I open it up. Uh, and now we'll go to Profiles, and here we'll change the font. We'll make that a little bit larger and change the type of font. I'm going to click on that. I like Monospace Bold for my terminals, so I'm going to select Monospace Bold, and I'll increase the font size here. I'll increase it to, like let's say, 14 for the video. I usually use 12 in person, but it might show up a little bit better for you. I'll select that. Um, Going to allow bold text, show the title bar, all that stuff. You can change the cursor shape if you want. I'm going to keep it as a block. I'll go over to colors now and I'm going to select Groovebox Dark and then built in schemes, also Groovebox Dark. And we'll go to background and I want a little bit of a transparent background. It's normally sets with 50% transparency. I think that's a bit much. So I'm going to move it up to about 80. I think it's 0.79 here. That's good. And then I'll go to scrolling. I'll disable the scrolling. Skip past uh, compatibility and go to title bar. And I don't like the title bar to have a background of red by default. So I'm going to click on this and pick a light blue. Click select. Then I'll close it. I'll now uh, close up the terminal with Control D and reopen it. And now we have this nice big terminal here. I can go into Vim, start coding along, and have some fun. Hopefully you found this video interesting. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.